Non-refoulement is the principle of international law which states that asylum seekers shall not be returned to the point of origin where they may face further danger or persecution. This show was born out of uh, my interest in notions of the outsider and who we are. The first in this series of work was a work I did for the Adelaide Biennial called Someone Died Trying to Have a Life Like Mine. It was both the inspiration for the work and the title of the work. And the notions of that privilege inform this show. This show is inspired by questions of what is it about our own character that makes us so unwilling to extend good faith and assistance to those claiming asylum. This is inherently a political show um, because the issue is a political one, but at the end of the day, I'm not interested in being a partisan artist in that manner. And my concerns when in the studio are not political at all. It's about making work that reminds us of the humanity at the heart of, of these issues. The centerpiece of this show is a staging of a small theatrical island in the middle of the gallery with two inflatable palm trees. Palm trees have been something that I've worked with as a subject for a while. Uh, not only do they have the wonderful connotations of holiday for us here in the West, a uh, perfect island getaway, but from the Eastern perspective, there is the palm, particularly the date palm, represents the transition into another life, hope for something better. The party atmosphere of the inflatables belies the question at the heart of this show. The nature of the boats in the Zodiac Pool Toy series, while carved completely deflated, is actually more of a giveaway than any of the others about the seriousness of the intent. The illusion is broken as the boats are leant up against the wall or, or cascaded on the floor, where you realise they're not quite something's not quite right. I was particularly interested in, in the symbol of the life jacket as a symbol of assistance. I'd created life jackets in the past as an act of empathy, an empathy for the wearer. These are formal portrait busts standing open so you can see the, the body cavity. They're almost a, a command to slip them on and wear them yourself. Obviously I work with marble a lot. Marble has that memorial connotation to it, but it texturally it has the capacity for a lot of joy. It has the um, Wombian marble that I've used for the palm trees, has a sort of inbuilt sunset already in its natural vein. The marble of the paddle is cold memorial Italian Carrara. The biggest thing for this show is to know that uh, while there might be a carefully crafted boat, a carefully crafted inflatable palm tree, a paddle, and a life jacket. The show also acknowledges the complexity of the issue. There's no easy read on these objects. They are both an optimistic and shiny series of objects, but they're also uh, sardonic. They also have a darker side. Each of these is both inflated and deflated. Each of those is um, welcoming and unwelcoming. How do you justify shattering life uh, or a desire, a, a, a dream. How do you do that? And what are the long-term impacts of that? My interest here at the end of the day is the, the issue at stake and how it reflects on our choices, who we are and what we're becoming.